everyone. My name is Dr. Radha Rao. I'm an obstetrician gynecologist. And this particular video is to be used as a guide for all the would-be mothers and fathers, especially the pregnant women that I have seen recently at around the eighth month of pregnancy or around 31, 32 weeks of gestation. I'm sure all of you are very excited about the upcoming birth of your baby. And now you start wondering about the actual labor and delivery process. And just like any other examination, I suppose, all of us want to get ready for this. Some of, some of you want to get ready well in advance, and some of you just want to know a little bit about it. So the way I see this, labor and delivery, is, uh, is something for which you can prepare much in advance, mentally and physically. So one of the most important things is to keep your resolve to have a natural birth. You know, especially if this is your first baby or even if it's your second baby, your resolve to have a natural birth, that should take you through. So physically, is there anything that you can do? Yes, we'll go through a few exercises. But first thing, what are the symptoms of labor? Now, as I have gone through this, when we discuss this with you in, in the hospital or the clinic, so uh, labor can start as pain. If you experience any unusual pain, or any kind of mild neglect pain that goes on and on for more than say two hours and doesn't go away despite taking rest. That's something for which you have to come to the hospital. Any kind of bleeding, even if there are one or two drops of blood, I would advise you to come to the hospital. And third is your water breaking. So if you experience any kind of fluid discharge or watery discharge that soaks your underclothes or the bed, it might be a good thing for you to come to the hospital. Now, once you come in labor, so generally we check uh, your vital signs, that is your observations. And there are two other important checks that are done. One is a check for the baby, which is usually either a fetal heartbeat check or it's an NST tracing of the baby. That is like an ECG of the baby that, that goes on. And then it's an internal test. So the, uh, so the duty doctor will examine you and she will do an internal test and uh, you might be already one or two centimeters open. So the neck of the uterus or the cervix is what has held the baby in your tummy, in your womb for so long. And now at the time of labor, it's time for it to open up. So generally, the, what we call as the or, so the cervix is closed up to the time of labor and it gently starts opening up. So the first one centimeter or two or three centimeters is very slow and therefore early labor is a time for you to just be mobile. You can walk around, you can listen to music, you can watch some videos. Uh, and that's the reason I would encourage you to think of what, how you could distract yourself at this stage. You can use some old photographs, you can use shlokas, hymns or anything of that sort or adopt different positions. You can be on all fours, you can sit on a chair, but vertical positions are favorable. And gently, as your pains increase, you enter the active phase of labor, which usually could start once you're dilated four, five or six centimeters open, and then the pains come faster. So for that active phase, um, usually you can think of uh, non-medical um, uh, painkillers or uh, non-medical ways of uh, dealing with pain such as you can continue to use um, you know I will go through some birth affirmations or you can just do some breathing exercises or you can have some injectable painkillers or you can even use an epidural and an JCI. Epidural is, is what the anesthetist gives into your back and that is a good kind of painkiller that can also be used. So apart from this we can also use some tense machines so transcutaneous nerve stimulation machines which are used for back massage so that can be put on quite early in labor and you can walk around with it the other things that can be used are um, hot and cold compressors or somebody can or your birth partner can massage your back or your shoulders and these things can help once you're in active phase of labor labor can progress quite fast especially if you've previously had a normal delivery or in some women it can just progress fast for some people, it can again be a little slow, but definitely it will be faster than the very early stages of labor. And when the pushing stage comes, that is once your cervix dilates to 10 centimeters, that is called the second stage where you're asked to bear down. Usually we go with your instincts and the head comes quite low down and you get that pushing sensation. 
Now, what is it that you can do from now on uh, to help you with this? You can do a lot of walking. So you can do it once or twice a day, half an hour to an hour of walking. You can do some calm breathing exercises uh, that involve a bit of slow expiration, such as uh, four breaths in and seven breaths out. You can do that about five to 10 minutes a day. You can also practice squatting. Now this can be just squats or it could be like watching TV on a low stool. So you can keep a low stool and watch television for a few minutes or even hours sitting on a low stool that will encourage the head to come down in a favorable position. You can also do something called cat camel positions that can also help. Um, the other things, um, I mean, these uh, positions where you are uh, sitting down uh, is actually called optimal fetal positioning. That means the favorable part of the head may come down and engage once your labor starts. Um, apart from this, I think there's no need to um, uh, know anything more about it. Uh, in labor, uh, usually you can just go with the flow and, and adopt any kind of favorable position. Even you can lie down on your side. You can sit on a chair uh, facing the back of the chair or you can walk around. So mentally to get prepared, uh, there are a few birth affirmations which say that I can do it. You know, I'm going to dilate. And you, if you say that a few times, some people feel good. You can vocalize it as well, or you can visualize that you're going to give, uh, you know, you're going to have a nice normal delivery. These things help. So I hope this video has helped you a little bit in preparing for your upcoming childbirth. Good luck and best wishes.